This is a Printelligence product briefing demonstrating Canon's Prisma Prepare VDP option. The Prisma Prepare VDP option in version 7.1 supports two types of variable data programming. The first involves adding simple text and numbering to a stock form. Tickets, which I'll demonstrate next, are an example of this type of personalization. The second personalization functionality type I want to show involves templates, variable data spreadsheets, and directories of image files. I'll demonstrate how Prisma Prepare handles this type of variable data job with a simple postcard example. Let's start with a ticket application. Step one is to open a PDF of a ticket form. This one is a single-sided holiday concert ticket. The customer wants 500 uniquely numbered tickets, so I open the VDP workspace and create a new counter. I'll call it ticket number and run it from 1 to 500. Now that I have a data source, I need to insert it somewhere. I click Add Text Frame select where to place it, and insert my ticket number and format the font, color, justification, and so forth. Of course, we now live in a world full of automated systems, so this customer also wants a scannable barcode. Prisma Prepare enables me to readily present this variable information in a variety of barcode formats. I might want to step through each ticket to see the ticket number change. However, here is where Prisma Prepare gets interesting. With version 7.1, I can now switch to the production workspace to set up my sheet size and layout. I can see the sheets with the tickets or just the frames and ticket numbers. I can alter the impositioning in a variety of ways, including impositioning them by page or by stack. See how the ticket number on each frame now increases by 50? This powerful feature lets you cut and stack tickets to box them in sequence. Prisma Prepare will automatically recalculate everything and leave blanks at the back if we change sheet sizes, impositions, or ticket counts. I can flip each column upside down or alter the gutters in alignment. And I can turn on corner trim marks, center marks, fold marks, and can even add barcodes for automated finisher setups. Functionality like this makes impositioning so much easier than the traditional method where prepress staff had to manually perform image shifts, calculate gutters, and add marks. However, as easy as this is, Prisma Prepare has one more trick up its sleeve. I can save this imposition template for use on other jobs. I'm naming it Cards 2x5 on SRA3 for Duplo DC646. Now I'm ready if my client comes back and wants to print 200 additional tickets. I open my PDF form again, set up a counter starting at 501, and place the text and barcode fields on the form just like before. However, now when I go into the production workspace, I select my imposition template and my impositioning is set up and ready in one step. This feature is particularly useful for most shops, which typically support standard ticket, business card, and postcard sizes. This is a great way to produce tickets, but Prisma Prepare can also provide some basic personalization on an invitation for a client who has no VDP software. All we need is a PDF form, a spreadsheet filled with variable content, and a directory containing any required variable images. I'll start by opening up my blank invitation form. This example form has some graphics, text, and space for an address on one side, and is blank on the other. Next, I'll select my data source. In this case, I'm using an Excel spreadsheet, which contains variable data like first name, last name, email, mailing address, along with the names of the image files stored in the image directory. Let's drop this variable content into the form. First, I'll add an image frame to the front of the invitation and link it to the segment image data field. I can see how this will look as soon as I put it in. Next, I'll add some text, which can contain both static and variable data. Paging through the invitations shows me how the text and images change with each entry. It helps me determine whether I need to change the fonts, align the text, and do any of the usual editing functions. I can place additional variable data information, such as the mailing address, on the back of the invitation and again, step through the recipients to verify everything is correct. Also, just like with the tickets, I can even add variable data in the form of a barcode, like this QR code. These are simple variable data tools, but they are useful. And like everything else in Prisma Prepare, I can go into the production workspace and quickly set up my impositioning and media, which can be as simple as selecting an imposition template like VDP 4UP. There are sophisticated personalization and campaign management solutions out there, but I like Canon's approach because most printers and most customers aren't ready to handle them yet. Prisma Prepare provides a cost-effective and straightforward way to introduce your business and your customers to the power of personalized direct marketing. 
Moreover, in Prisma Prepare version 7.1, you only pay for this functionality if you need it, and you can always add it later if your needs change.